and welcome back to aka funk blue mix masala with tg i am tenzin gopal and today i'm just going to give you an overview of what ableton live does okay currently i'm using ableton live 10 suit you can download this software from its official website that is uh, ableton.com i'll leave the website link below in the description box and for today we are just going to talk about very general stuff uh, an overview and then in the later videos as i've been requested i'll be talking about the uh, all the small all the how do you say it the effects that are there what are all these options that are there okay so yes uh, ableton live is a DAW uh, digital audio workstation and you might be familiar with fl studios cube uh, that's logic if you're using mac uh, apple product and uh, there are also other uh, softwares which i can again uh, share the links in the description box uh, today we are going to just look at the general stuff okay so you have very simple layout and the coolest thing about the Ableton's workstation is which for me is very convenient and for a lot of people it is it is the this option so you have the session view which is this so you have like the uh, slots where you can put in stuff uh, samples or add midi clips or you can also go switch to the arrangement view all right when you have this uh, so so let's me demonstrate uh, okay so maybe if I want to compose something here, I'll hit the, okay. Before we start, we have this two option. Let me just delete this because I kept it for the convenience. So when you open up the software, you usually come out with this very basic, um, layout that is you will have two MIDI uh, channels and two audio channels as you can see one of my audio channel is activated that is because it's uh, connected to the mic other than that uh, so what is MIDI? MIDI is basically machine information that is being derived from the devices from the uh, computer itself so let me give you an example uh, so we'll go and maybe take a MIDI I love analog so I'll just track that and put it here and yeah okay all right uh yeah so i just uploaded uh, put this analog device and let's see how it works so if i press this red button it obviously means record and as you can see when i arm this track with record uh suddenly you the shape here you see these are all squares and these are all circles so with circle it means i can record okay so there are two ways of doing things i can of course i have my arturia mini lab 2 mk2 so i can play around so as you can see it it's basically I'm playing it from my MIDI keyboard which is uh, a uh, mini lab mk2 is a 
MIDI controller plus a MIDI keyboard so there's quite a lot of things I'll do another video on mini lab and all the possibilities that are there so much fun okay uh, back to basics so I'm going to hit this circle and suddenly you can see it let's play it again so this is the session view okay and session view is very 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 handy when we are doing live sets which I'm more comfortable with and uh, usually when I'm doing some productions work, then I usually use this uh, session, uh, arrangement view okay so what I can do also is session view and the arrangement view the fun thing is that you double click and then you get a bar here right where you can edit stuff so i can maybe select all these and then if i maybe stretch it to the beginning let's do it again oops so that means i'm just going a little overboard as you can see this note is before Okay, that should do it. So with MIDI, <coughs> with MIDI, everything is being done within the software. All the sounds that are coming out and stuff like that. So you know, like if it's playing, now keep, keep it in the loop. You see the button here so I've kept it in a loop now when I change this you know uh, parameters it changes okay and that makes it very interesting and you can do a lot of cool stuff so maybe I'll just put it in mono whoops I think it all maybe not mono there's a lot of things you can play around with here uh, since we are just doing up an overview of what Ableton is capable of right so this is analog MIDI and uh, maybe we add a drum right I'll take this here wait I'll put it in here and
are some basic things we can do in uh, Ableton. I hope this video is was helpful to get you started and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying what you are seeing and learning because and follow the follow my page because we are going to really dig deep into all these things <coughs> 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 sorry i've got cold here so uh <coughs> yeah i think this is good for the first uh, video and if you like what you see and learn you can uh, give thumbs up follow switch on the notification because the next uh, video will be talking about some basic things like what is link uh, the bpm uh, what bar you want metronome and uh, some more stuff about what is possible with midi and uh, audio okay see you in the next video aka funk blue cheers <laughs>